And welcome back to VID Machine. You're watching for Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboom! Kaboom, oh yeah! Kaboom, oh yeah! Here we go! Here we go! It's the fate! It's the rebate! It's for the beat! It's Boycott Aid Edition! Aid Edition! Comment right now into Aid Edition! Aid Edition! Aid Edition! All people were upset, oh yeah, I have offended you again, so I guess this is the end, because everybody knows you're such a snowflake and you're just quite upset at every single thing we said. Everybody knows it's all just in your head, wasted, feeling, going, speaking. You know I have crossed the line when I said that you were mine. Go and skiing, no hard feelings. Since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own world. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of VID Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. Oh, what a time it was if you guys were around in 2022. Man, this was a very exciting time. As. Sorry about that. 2003. Not 2020. Not 2022, but 2003. It was an interesting time because this was the time when Yu Gi Oh! was big. Yu Gi Oh! was competing directly with Magic the Gathering, and Hasbro said, Hey, why do they have better looking foils than we do? You know what? Let's change the way Magic the Gathering cards look. So, I'm going to show you classic frame cards. So, let's go ahead and check here. Nah, fourth edition. Where did it go? So that we guys can uh, compare. Okay. So, these are the cards that we were used to back then, during the early 90s. Fourth edition cards had these frames. Now, Wizards decided to change their frames, and now Magic cards look like this. Before. <laughs> A far, far cry from what they originally looked like. I mean, look at the flavor, look at how they look. I mean, this was an artifact. Yeah, that was an artifact back then. Then they decided to change it, and that's an artifact in 2003, 8th edition. The outcry of old school vintage players was so loud that they had a movement known as Boycott 8. And um, people in the Full Magic the Gathering forums were trying to silence them because they were under the payroll of Wizards of the coast and then Hasbro. So they were silencing people who didn't like 8th edition. They were attacking people for criticizing wizards for changing the frames in 8th edition. And basically what happened is the old school players, what they did is they just completed their collections and they quit the game. They never bought another new product from Wizards of the Coast. So by the time Mirrodin was out and Kamigawa was out, and a lot of people had already quit. And this was one of the lowest points of Magic the Gathering. Until eventually Ravnica came and then sales went up again. But Lorwyn and those other sets, they didn't actually make that much money. Nobody wanted to do anything with Magic the Gathering at that point because a lot of players felt betrayed. A lot of players okay, did not want to do anything with Magic the Gathering anymore as the new cards would look weird if you compared it, if you combined it with their old cards. So that is one thing that um, Wizards had to consider that um, they didn't consider. They just wanted their foils to look shinier, to look better, but Remember, and these were the Magic the Gathering cards that we're used to. Lightning Bolt. Holy Strength. Brothers of Fire. These were the frames that we were used to. And now, what Wizards was doing is they gave us these. They gave it. 
man. And up to now, I still think that these frames are garbage. Hot garbage. I don't care how much 8th edition is worth now, but this was the lowest time in Magic the Gathering. People didn't actually vote with their wallets back then. Right now, just like in MTG 30th. But um, a lot of uh, it, the, what they hoped for was to attract a bunch of new players because they wanted their foils to look like that. Ew. Ew. <laughs> but still, for most Magic the Gathering players, these are what Magic the Gathering cards actually look like. There, see? These are the cards that we're used to. This is the art that we're using. This is the flavor that actually is what made magic magic. Because the cards look classical. They look magical. Okay, they look like from something out of um, a, the wizarding world. Not this Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know what this is, man. Yeah, this is also a time when I stopped collecting. I just had my old cards and then that was it. I was done. Until later on, of course, when Modern showed up, I had to buy um, the new cards to keep up with the new sets. And the new cards were actually better because they looked better together. But New Magic the Gathering is a completely different game from old school Magic the Gathering. Which is why I also play old school. And uh, I like watching guys like um, Timmy the Sorcerer. And I also have a playset. A set of my old school decks ready for old school play. Once again, this is the Idea Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. We are signing off. Right now, right now, yeah! Old school is way better! Old school is way better than 8th edition garbage! 8th edition is such garbage! Look at these frames! Look at these frames! Look at this artifact! What the hell is that? It doesn't even look like an artifact at all. Oh.